hello everyone hello everyone today we are going to see what is voltage regulation in alternator what are the methods to find voltage regulation among that one of the method emf method or synchronous impedance method we'll discuss in this video voltage regulation what is meant by voltage regulation voltage how it will regulate under normal load under full load what is the voltage how the alternator produces the voltages under normal load and full load condition when alternator is subjected to varying load the voltage at armature terminals varies to certain extent the amount of this variation determines the voltage regulation of that machine when alternator is loaded the terminal voltage decreases when alternator is connected to lamps or fan load or inductive load whatever be the load based on that load based on power factor the voltage regulation may be changes the voltage drop increases hence the voltage falls below the rated voltage voltage regulation of an alternator is defined as change in terminal voltage from no load to full load the voltage regulation of an alternator is defined as the change in terminal voltage from no load to full load and expressed as a percentage of rated voltage when the load is at given power factor is removed without change in speed and excitation that is very important that the speed and excitation without changing that means constant the voltage and speed the voltage means which is field excitation voltage and speed should be maintained constant to find the voltage regulation suppose an alternator or ac generator which is constructed that has to be sent it to the market the voltage regulation it should maintain properly that is one of the testing of machines is voltage regulation the numerical value of voltage regulation is defined as percentage rise in voltage when the full load is specified power factor is switched off with the speed and field current remaining unchanged expressed as percentage of rated voltage we can see what is voltage regulation the change in terminal voltage under no load means it is emf generated and full load is vt terminal voltage assume that vt per phase values we are considering voltage regulation is defined as change in terminal voltage from no load to full load where e not is no load induced emf per phase vt is the terminal voltage per phase at load condition there are so many methods to find voltage regulation let us see that where what are the various methods the voltage regulation of alternator can be determined by different methods we can find in case of small generators in case of small generators it can be determined by direct loading whereas in case of large generators it cannot be determined by direct loading but usually predetermined by different methods suppose one alternator which is manufactured in one company that voltage regulation if it is a small alternator like in theaters like in hospitals if you go for small scale industries a small alternators below 5 kva then these alternators can be tested by directly method direct method the direct method in the sense applying direct load directly the load will be applied to armature terminals of alternator after that when under no load condition e not is the voltage under full load condition v vt is the terminal voltage then find then they will calculate the voltage regulation under for larger alternators it is very very difficult to provide load suppose 10000 kva alternator is there 10000 amps it is very difficult to provide hence we go for indirect methods direct loading method and indirect loading method indirect loading methods are so many types in that predetermined efficiency without providing load we are de determining the efficiency that is known as predetermination of efficiency and regulation of alternator emf method or synchronous method one of the method is emf method or synchronous impedance method it is also known as synchronous impedance method or emf method 
the synchronous impedance method or emf method why it is called synchronous impedance method you can see why it is called synchronous impedance method zs we are calculating that is synchronous impedance we are calculating in this method hence it is known as synchronous impedance method or emf method here in synchronous impedance method it is also known as pessimistic method pessimistic method what is pessimistic method in the sense pessimistic means the voltage regulation will be more than rated value maximum value will come that is normally if the alternator have 80 percent voltage regulation in by using this method synchronous impedance method it may give 90 percent it is more than rate more than actual value of voltage regulation it will provide whereas mmf method it is also known as ampere turns method it is a optimistic method optimistic method lower than actual value we will get hence it is known as optimistic method another one is a method of on jpf method or portier triangle method let us see this these methods you can see voltage regulation and one more important point is all these methods except direct loading method are suitable for non salient pole only because small scale alternators uses salient pole whereas large scale large rating alternators because they are running very high speed or turbo alternators they are using non salient pole normally salient pole you can see the diagram the salient poles are poles are projected if the poles are rotated at very high speed for higher voltage levels for larger ratings kva more than 5 kva alternators the poles are not sale non salient non salient in the sense not projected cylindrical rotor or non salient pole rotor we are using normally these methods emf method or mmf method asa method zpf method all methods are useful for non salient pole machines only because these are used for indirect method and for larger alternators indirect method we are preferring non salient pole type machines only coming to emf method this method also known as synchronous impedance method here the magnetic circuit is assumed to be unsaturated the magnetic circuit is unsaturated in this method mmf flux are produced by the rotor and stator is replaced by their equivalent emf hence this method is called ef method emf method or synchronous impedance method why predetermine the regulation of alternator predetermining the regulation predetermine the regulation means by without any loading before applying direct loading we are sending the alternator we are finding the alternator voltage regulation the ends it is known as predetermined voltage regulation armature reactants also we are calculating open circuit and short circuit test two tests have to be carried out to determine voltage regulation emf method there are two tests to be carried out the two tests are one is open circuit test or OCC curve will be drawn between IF versus field current. The open circuit characteristic curve is drawn between IF field current versus open circuit voltage VOC or this is the open circuit voltage. And SCC curve is drawn between short circuit current versus field current. This is the short circuit curve or you can take here also the short circuit curve we can consider short circuit current is rated current rated current curve for which rated current for rated current if you draw a curve that is short circuit curve SCC curve one there are two tests to be carried out synchronous impedance method used for two tests two tests to be carried out one is OC test and another one is SC test SC test means short circuit test SCC curve, SCC curve, OCC curve, short circuit characteristic curve is drawn and open circuit characteristic curve is drawn for that. For that experimental setup, we can see this is the experimental setup how to calculate synchronous impedance method finding of voltage regulation. The primary is connected to alternator or YB and neutral. This is a star connected armature winding of an alternator and a voltmeter is connected across R and Y or we can connect voltmeter across Y and B also. The voltage which is generated VOC under TPST switch is open condition, ammeter is not connected here. And a DC supply is required for rotor of alternator. The rotor of alternator is excited with a DC supply. 
to vary the field current to conduct open circuit characteristic curve the field current versus the field current versus open circuited voltage here the ammeter which is under dc supply ir and voc if it is field current and voc is the open circuit voltage generated that is for open circuit test setup initially the field rheostat is kept maximum position less current will enter to field winding therefore the voltage generation also less if the field current is varied by using rheostat in field winding terminals f1 and f2 the ryb or the stator terminals star connected alternator whereas rheostat is connected in field winding f1 and f2 a ammeter is connected to measure the field current the open circuit voltage voc and if both are calculating the tpst switch is open condition for occ test by gradually increasing the field current we are not we are taking note down the values of open circuit voltage generated after that for the same field excitation and constant speed the synchronous speed the tpst switch will be closed triple pole single throw switch will be closed for that short circuit current will happen that is flows through ammeter this short circuit current will be rated current of alternator rated current of alternator or any short circuit current we can flow for the same field like that occ and scc test will be carried out after that we are drawing a curve that is the curve between if versus isc versus and voc open circuit voltage these are the two curves which are drawn from the oc test and sc test open circuit characteristic curve is drawn from if versus voc open circuit voltage whereas short circuit characteristic curve scc is drawn between isc versus field current after drawing this we are calculating the synchronous impedance at any field current at any short circuit for suppose the load current is assume that short circuit current is isc at this position what is what is the load current at different types of loads at different loads we can calculate voltage regulation as i told you isc at isc what is the where it touches the scc from that if you corresponding if will be noted from corresponding if we have to draw a straight line to the which touches the occ at some where here assume that o a is the field current b at point b the short circuit current touches the scc curve from that if you extend then it touches at c point now d d is the open circuit voltage open circuit voltage open circuit voltage we are calculating first because synchronous impedance zsc is given by open circuit voltage by field short circuit current isc short circuit current isc for this current in the graph you have values no from that values we can calculate synchronous impedance that's why it is called synchronous impedance method we are calculating synchronous impedance at whatever be the load suppose if you consider this point the corresponding terminal the corresponding field current we have to calculate this is the field current for this if you extend it touches the open circuit curve at this position this is the open circuit voltage the open circuit voltage is taken from 0 to uh, voltage assume that it is a 220 volts open circuit voltage for open circuit voltage 220 volts divided by short circuit current if it is f 10 amps for la in laboratory then 220 by 10 22 ohms is the synchronous impedance we are calculating the synchronous impedance first how to calculate synchronous impedance i told you again i am explaining how to find synchronous impedance how to find synchronous impedance the synchronous impedance is given by open circuit voltage by short circuit current for any load for any load the alternator suppose if you consider an alternator is loaded at isc is isc the corresponding field current is oa oa is the corresponding field current in amperes if you extend this line it touches the occ at some point it touches the occ at this point the corresponding voltage is VOC. VOC divided by short circuit current ISC gives synchronous impedance. After finding synchronous impedance, we are calculating voltage regulation by using formula, voltage regulation formula. That alternator on load I already explained in previous video.
in the previous video i told you what is zs what is impedance the impedance is given by resistance of armature square plus x square square root of so it is the whole square root we have to consider whole square root zs equal to square root of r square plus x square where x is synchronous reactance x from this formula already we calculated zs from that x synchronous reactance is given by square root of zs square minus r square now induced emf can be found from previously alternator and load what is induced emf per phase can be found by ez equal to vt cos phi plus ia r a square plus vt sin theta plus or minus ia x square that formula we already derived in the previous class you can see that video also vt cos phi plus ia r a square plus vt sin theta plus or minus ia x s here in the previous we assumed that it is a phi now also you can assume it is a phi plus or minus for plus for lagging load minus for leading load where vt is the phase voltage ia is the low armature current how to calculate this armature resistance by using voltmeter and ammeter method ammeter and voltmeter method we can calculate ammeter reading voltmeter reading divided by ammeter reading gives armature resistance from that we calculated ez already vt per phase we calculated v phase ia load current from that if you substitute plus sign for lagging power factor minus sign for leading power factor it is very important already alternator on load you can see that therefore percentage voltage regulation is given by ez minus v by v into 100 where ez is no load induced emf and vt is the rated terminal voltage per phase from that we can calculate synchronous percentage voltage regulation it is in the method of synchronous impedance method it gives more values hence the limitation is it gives more value hence it is known as optimistic method not optimistic it is pessimistic method pessimistic means more value it will give not this method is pessimistic method because it gives more value than normal value hence it is a pessimistic method whereas mmf method is